Hey guys, welcome to an auto review right here on ToyWorldOrder.com and YouTube.com slash ToyWorldOrder with me, Deval, and my buddy Dave Ripper. Yay! Gang, we're back to take a look at another San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from this past year's uh, wonderful... Exclusive. Yeah, yeah. It's a shared, a Toys R Us. Yeah, it's a shared exclusive, so you can actually buy this one. Which I actually love yeah, Toys R Us. I don't know why I'm like being snotty about that, because that works much better for me. Yes, Dave is very happy. But of course, hey, we're talking about... I would have been happier if that had been... Yeah, Dave. We'll get to it in a minute. We'll get yeah. to that in a minute. Uh, but this course is uh, from uh, Funko and Super 7, the uh, reaction yeah, line, yeah. Uh, based on Dark Crystal. And this is a line that we had kind of been waiting for for a while now. We, we, we'd, we'd had our fingers crossed they were going to do it, and then they announced it, and then we've been waiting forever for it to finally come out, and now it's here. Yes. Uh, and this, of course, is the Land Strider and Jin. Uh, so it's uh, one of the larger creature sets. There's two large creature sets that's going to be released uh, by the reaction line for this line. The first one is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. The second one is Gartham with the winged Kira. And that one is the New York Comic Con 2016 exclusive, which much hey, like this. Hey one, Jason, what was the one figure from this entire line that I wanted more than any other? The Gartham. Yes. Dave likes him some spider crab, crab claw looking guys. They're cool. They are pretty cool. They're cool monsters. They're even cooler to, once you once you uh, learn how they were uh, puppeteered. I'm, I'm sure. They're pretty darn cool. But that that is the New York Comic Con exclusive, which I'm probably just like this will be available at Toys R Us. I hope so. Pretty much, uh... If, if it is, and I walk in and they got a case, yeah, they're not going to have a case much longer. No, Dave will buy them all. I, I will! Dave will buy every last they're one. Army, they're an army builder. They are. So are the Land Striders. Well, you only need two, really. Yeah. yeah. But, of course, this box set is uh, beautifully done. Uh, it's a rather yes. large box. Well, and to uh, be fair, like, it, out of everything that came out of Reaction, I think the one thing that you can never criticize or naysay is the packaging. It was always fantastic looking. Yes. Sorry. Ah. Ah. I was like, why is the table so wobbly? Uh. Well, it's because it's sitting on something that it shouldn't be. I was like, well, this thing's moving way more than it should. Sorry. Uh, but the Landstrider Gen set, the box is beautiful. Uh, beautiful window box that shows you both Landstrider and Gen uh, inside of there. Uh, the side panels here, both are the same as well as the top and bottom panels, but they show the figure uh, both figures there as well uh, as the Reaction logo, the Jim Henson logo, the Dark Crystal logo. Uh, and then the back of the box shows you the logo. entire line uh, of figures that will be released, including both the Com San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, the New York Comic-Con exclusive, and the actual Wave release, which includes a build, a Dark Crystal. Yeah. Uh, which also has, uh, I want to say the Jin figure... Uh, comes with crystal piece one, which is, is the base, but he also has a little shard of the crystal that actually plugs back into the uh, completed dark crystal when you get all the figures. So, mm, cool. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little set. So, uh, but yeah, shared exclusive, great little, uh, great little exclusive set. Uh, what do you say we open this little guy and take a look at him uh, up close and personal? All right, Jen and the Land Strider. As Dave tries to get Jen to stand up there, yeah, They're having trouble. Well, well, let's let's take a look at the Land Strider first here, David. You wanna? Oh. Take, there we go. Take a look at the Land Strider. The Land Strider actually, much like the other reaction figures line, only has five points of articulation. Um, his head can move uh, left and right there with his big uh, this uh, tusk, tusk yeah. thingy. Um, his front arms can can move forward and back, and his back legs can move forward and back. Now, uh, in the film, these of course are famously puppeteered. Uh, by Jim's son, Brian Henson, and a group of other puppeteers on stilts. Yeah. So they have stilts on their back legs and their front legs with this Landstrider costume over them. Um, the, the actual puppets of Jin and Kira, uh, I believe when they were on their backs were marionettes. I could be wrong on that, or they, they might have been remote controlled at that point. Um, that's, Dark Crystal is very early in the stages of remote control stuff, so I believe... Uh, the, the puppets while they were on the backs of the Lancers remote control. Well, I, yeah, I mean, just, they weren't, I don't recall them being that many uh, wide shots of them riding, so they could have just been, like, sewn on there and, you know, True. flopping around. True. Um, beautiful figure, the Landstrider. It's uh, it's gorgeously detailed. There's a lot of details, like the, the wrinkles on the top of its body here. Um, it's, it's little fringe under its belly, the hair that hangs down there, um, its tail which is all droopy. Um, the tusk here and the, the, the mouth and the head, uh, the, the eyes are wonderfully painted. I mean, the Landstrider was a, was a very freaky looking character that was a good, you know, a good character, but uh, very kind of creepy looking. Uh, and this sculpt and what they released on this brings out that very creepiness uh, to life 100%. So, 
Uh, also, the gin figure, I'm going to put him down, pose his legs down here a little bit so we can bend him down here a little bit. But uh, the gin figure actually can sit on him. Yeah, well, he's, he's clearly got um, some grooves in his uh, flanks. Yes. Designed to accommodate uh, Jen's legs. Yeah, so Jen can sit on him. So, yeah. kind of cool. Lance Strider's pretty cool. Jen, though, is where the figure, I think, is where they really uh, really pulled out all the stops. The details and the the sculpting and the paint on this figure is magnificent. Again, um, take a little sinus out. Uh, again, five points of articulation, the arms, you know, the legs have that, have that classic... Um, sort Kenner, of molded skirt, molded kind of skull thing. cut. Yeah, that's uh, very famous for uh, for those styles. His head does move, but because of his hair, it doesn't have a whole lot of range of movement, um, so it doesn't move that mm. well. Hippie. Yeah, it's just kind of it just kind of bobbles left and right. But uh, you know, he does like I say, he does have arms and legs there, so he can he can touch his toes, head and shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry, got carried away there. Um, he also comes with a little slingshot. Which uh, he used in the movie to ward off creatures. And he can hold that slingshot uh, in either. Well, I believe just in his uh, his yeah, right just hand. His right hand. His left hand is more uh, more open. And, and uh, these figures, the sculpting on these figures are magnificent because they really. I mean, with these, it's kind of hard to screw these up. Uh, Oh, I'm sure it would be very easy to screw them Maybe up. Yeah, it would be very easy, but they, they, but they did, didn't. They did not, no. They they pulled these uh, out. Now, um, who did the... Was it the Hildebrand brothers? Did the the artwork? Freud. Uh, Froud. Uh, okay. uh, um, what's his first name? Uh, uh, Brian? Brian Froud. Okay. He did all the designs but for you, Dark Crystal. You can see in the sculpt all the little details in the costume. Yes. Um, Which is really nice. Again, that was one of my big complaints about the reaction line generally is that they had very... Just... Plain, the the body sculpts didn't didn't have a lot of detail. There weren't a lot of wrinkles right. or, or design elements, um, and they they've definitely uh, they they've they've uh, not made the same mistake with these figures. Yes, no, they 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 kind of turn things around, uh, possibly a little too late uh, yeah. for the reaction line for retailers to really take notice. But as this is being a shared exclusive of Toys R Us. Toys R Us is still willing to carry some of this product, especially something that carries the name of Doc Crystal that famously has not had a lot of merchandise attached to it since the movie was released, except for books and such like that. No real toys. So uh, and we also got some pop vinyls coming out. At some pop time. vinyls, yes. So uh, very cool, very uh, very wonderful two pack, very fun uh, for collectors of the Dark Crystal to have. Um, they fit in, of course, beautifully with your vintage characters, your vintage collection. Um, they'll fit right in. So uh, a beautiful, beautiful set uh, from Super Seven. Well, there you go, guys. There's a look at the uh, the uh, San Diego Comic Con 2016 exclusive Dark Crystal figure set of uh, of, of of Jin and, and the, the Land Strider. Um, as we kind of talked about in the review, it's a nice little set. Uh, it's it's really cool to have Dark Crystal figures finally after all these years. Yeah. Um, as we were supposed to get them from LGN, I LGN, um, in this scale when the movie first came out, those figures famously made it. Uh, all the way to package production samples and were canceled because of course there's lots of pictures of them packaged that have been floating around the internet for some years now yeah. um, as well as the prototypes are out there so we got really close to having these figures in the 80s uh, never happened and now reaction has actually picked up the slag and uh, I know I for one have been critical of uh, the the Funko reaction line in the past because I feel that they squandered a great opportunity to bring uh, wonderful uh, vintage style figures of modern day properties to life, uh, as well modern as properties and vintage, and modern yeah. and vintage uh, which they they failed miserably on uh, everything except they, for Alien, which they already had molds. Which for. they already had molds for. Yeah, they made they made some bad design choices, some mm -hmm. poor design choices. Yes, um, which was unfortunate. But I think uh, this particular line, um, just from what we've seen today. Uh, is is really is really nicely done. It's, it's gorgeous with the amount of detail that are in these. Yeah, figures. and that's, that was a big thing. Is is most of the reaction figures don't have a lot of detail. No, and these things are. They look really flat, and yeah. you know these these look amazing. The the dark this one dark crystal figure we've had on this whole line so far looks amazing. Hope um, the rest come out. Yes, the the rest are supposed to be released. They're going to release them. Okay. Um, again, the reaction line was a line we people a lot of people thought was already dead. Um, is the fact that everything got clearanced out pretty much. Nobody was carrying anything anymore. Um, they hadn't released anything in a long time, um, and now for the Dark Crystal stuff to come out, it's it's kind of nice to see, uh, to have these figures come out and to have them be available. Um, these are available at your local Toys R Us. You can go check them out. 
Uh, keep an eye out for the rest of the Dark Crystal figures, and when New York Comic Con happens this October, uh, yep. there will be uh, another set, so make sure you check that out. Uh, gang, make sure you subscribe to us. Go to youtube.com slash order. hit subscribe, mash the like a button, mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it. Uh, check everything we have out uh, out there to offer, Every, everything we have out there to offer. Did that sound right? Yeah, yeah surprisingly it did. Ha ha ha! Me English, good! Uh, check out everything we have out there to offer, gang, and uh, so much more. Uh, enjoy what we have. Uh, have fun. Uh, we like to have a lot of fun with our reviews. Um, we. Dave just likes to be grumpy because, well, that's what happens when you're in your 40s. Oh, yeah. Do you, want, do you want to use these? I I want to use them very badly. I'll let you have one hit. No. Just one. You will regret it. Put okay. them down. Okay, fair enough. Gang, we'll see you next time with another review right here on Toy Build Order. So until next time, David. Keep playing with your toys. I'm going to die, aren't I? You are. Oh, it's been, it's been fun, guys. It's been real. It's... <laughs>